हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माय चैनल अगेन इन टुडेज सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट चंडी मिश्रा हैज एलगोरिजम वी नो दैट फॉर डिटेक्टिंग द डेडलॉक इन द डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एनवायरनमेंट देर आर सेवरल अप्रोचेस सेंट्रलाइज्ड अप्रोच इज देयर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड अप्रोच इज देयर हायरकिकल अप्रोच इज देयर वी हैव सीन हो राम मूर्ति अलगोरिदम फ्रॉम द सेंट्रलाइज अप्रोच अर्लियर इन सेंट्रलाइज अलगोरिदम द प्रॉब्लम वॉज दैट इफ द सेंट्रल कॉर्डिनेटर फेल्स देन द इंटायर सिस्टम फेल्स नाउ This Chandi Mishra algorithm is a distributed deadlock detection algorithm. It does not have any centralized coordinator for coordinating the deadlock detection activities. Here all the nodes or all the sites in the distributed environment communicates with each other and try to find out whether the system is in the deadlock or not. This algorithm is also known as edge chasing algorithm. It is based on probe message technique. in the sense what happens in this case small messages are sent from one node to another node and these messages are passed according to the dependency of the transaction or the processes probe message is propagated to detect the cycle or the deadlock in the distributed environment let's go into the detail this algorithm works in three steps in the first step deadlock detection process is initiated in second step the initiating node which feels that there is a deadlock into the system propagates the probe message and third case we can detect a cycle or a deadlock in the system there is a probability that the deadlock might not be there also not necessary that in every case we will see the deadlock in the distributed environment so if it is in the deadlock then some recovery mechanisms might be applied by killing some processes and we will come out of the deadlock now how this thing is happened probe message we pass this probe message contains three major fields first one is initiator field then it is a sender field and then it is a successor field initiator is the name of the process which starts the deadlock detection process the deadlock detection process is started when the process or the transaction getting executed on a site feels that there is a deadlock in the system the probe message is then circulated on the distributed environment according to the dependency of the processes and then if it returns back to the initiating process then we can say that there is a deadlock let us see what happens exactly in this case with the help of a suitable example In this example P1 suspects that there is a deadlock in the distributed environment. So P1 starts the process of deadlock detection by sending the probe message. So P1 will formulate the probe message. It will contain three fields: initiator, sender and successor. So initiator in that case will be process 1, sender in that case will be process 1 and successor will be process 2. So the first message probe will be created and will be sent from P1 to P2 as P1 is dependent on P2. Now P2 process is dependent on P3 as well as P2 process is dependent on P4. So while sending the probe message to P3, P2 will send like P1 is the initiator. Now sender is P2 and successor is P3. So depending on that, P2 will formulate the probe message and will send it to P3. Similarly for P4 P1 will send the message as P1 is initiator P2 is a sender and P4 is a successor so this probe message will be sent from P2 to P4 when P3 will receive this probe message here P3 is not dependent on any other process so P3 will not create its own probe message and will not forward further but P4 is dependent on P5 so P4 will create a probe message like one is a initiator four is a sender five is a successor so it will formulate the probe message and forward it to the p5 process p5 is dependent on p6 it will formulate the probe message one is the initiator five is the sender six is the successor so message will be received by process p6 running on site number 3 P6 will also formulate a message like one is initiator six is a sender and seven is a successor So accordingly the message will be received at P7. Again P7 process or P7 transaction is dependent on the transaction which is getting executed on site number 1. So P7 will again formulate the probe message and the message will be 1 is the initiator, 7 is the sender and again that message is intended for process P1 getting executed at site 1. So 1 is nothing but the successor. 
Now let us observe this particular probe message carefully. What is happening in this particular probe message is the initiator is one as well as the successor is also one. Both are same initiator and successor are same that is one and one. So we can say that one has started the process and one received that message back. So there is a loop, there is a cycle. So we can say the system is in the deadlock or in unsafe state. So this is how we have detected the deadlock with the help of Chandi Mishra hash algorithm. Let's go ahead. We will see the advantages. Chandi Mishra hash algorithm contains a probe message instead of entire WFG that we used in the path pushing algorithm. We have already seen the Obermark's path pushing algorithm. If you want to know more about it, you can see my Obermark's path pushing algorithm video. Then Chandi Mishra algorithm has a distributed approach. There is no need of a centralized controller. In limitations, we can say that the probes sometimes may get circulated unnecessarily on the distributed environment. And second thing is the problem of process overkilling. So process overkilling tells us that sometimes multiple processes may feel that there is a deadlock inside the system and they may initiate the process of deadlock detection. If we consider the above example, so we can say that if process P1 and process P6 as well as process P5 feels that the system is in deadlock, they might initialize the deadlock detection process. So what will happen? All these processes will start the deadlock detection mechanism and after some time they will come to the conclusion that there is a deadlock inside the system. So after detecting the deadlock inside the system, the correction mechanism is always performed. For that, we need to kill some processes and for killing the processes, we need to select some specific processes. Sometimes it may happen that the initiator kills itself and try to break the deadlock. Suppose here P1 has started the deadlock detection process. At the same time, suppose P5 also has started the deadlock detection process and P6 has also started the deadlock detection process. All these processes comes to know that there is a deadlock inside the distributed environment. So for recovering from the unsafe state, these processes may kill themselves. So there will be multiple processes that might be get killed unnecessarily. So that is called as process overkilling. So this is important limitation of Chandi Mishra hash algorithm. So that's enough from this particular session. So we have seen what is Chandi Mishra hash algorithm and how it detects the deadlock. We have seen if multiple nodes started the deadlock detection process at a time and probably for recovering from the deadlock, if the process starts killing themselves, then it may result into process overkilling. So that's it from this session. Thank you.